probably the one person that Chiefs fans should thank for Patrick wearing the red and the gold. I knew when it came to sports, he, could, he, he was going to be able to, to reach whatever level he wanted. But Randy says football wasn't his first choice. Before his junior year in high school, he came to me that summer wanting to quit football. I think that you're going to regret it if you quit. But Randy says her son has never been a quitter, always striving to win and never a show off. And growing up, he would go to tournaments and stuff while I worked, and he would come home, and if he won MVP or won first place, he would never tell me. And I'd be like, well, what happened? Like, did y'all win? And then where's your trophy? And he would never bring it home. Like, half the time it was bro, he didn't bring it home. But it was all about, like, I want to win. The team won. And, like, it, that, that was it. Number 15 has always been a team player, except when he occasionally got benched by mom. I had to ground him from practicing. That was when, when he got in trouble as a kid. When he got, you know, I took away practice. I'd make him go and watch uh, because I knew that would make him act right you know as a mom like you got to find things so that was his thing like he never wanted to miss a practice and randy says he never liked to be the center of attention but he's really a, a private person like they probably don't see him a whole lot out in town because he's very just low-key i mean he doesn't like the attention on him all the time he was always a, a good kid i will say so she's not surprised about his foundation donating $15,000 to buy equipment for an inclusive playground for Variety KC. Now, this is a charity close to Randy's heart. She says her other kids are the same way. She raised them to care about others. There's Patrick, then 19-year-old Jackson, and 8-year-old Mia. Growing up, you know, you hear, like, kids getting picked on. And so I, I used to tell Patrick and Jackson, like, find a kid at school. I'm not saying to go pick every kid, but find one that just seems to sit by themselves or something. And I was like, say hi to him every single day. And so I did that with, with him. Randy's also tried to keep her kids grounded with family time as a top priority. I am proud with football, but the family part of it, I'm, more, I'm way more proud. And that's something that, you know, sometimes I don't, I definitely don't get enough of. Especially during the season when Randy says Patrick is totally focused on football. I mean, like, they can play one game and I'll try to call him after the game and he's already like, I've got to start studying, I'm studying for the next game. And I'm like, okay, I mean, do you not breathe for a moment? But since Patrick signed on in Kansas City, sometimes it's been hard for Randy to follow her own advice. And sometimes I think it hasn't really hit me, even though this is like three years in. I don't think it's really hit me because he's still my son. He's still Patrick, you know, and and my other two are still my kids. And I don't look at him any differently today than I did five years ago. But number 15 is different. And Randy, she's slowly getting used to the idea. But she says Patrick will always be her baby, her firstborn. I am. I'm very, very proud. I'm, you know, like, we're, we're always say we're blessed. He's blessed. He's blessed to be able to do his dream and, and to, to live, you know, doing exactly what he loves, you know, what mom wouldn't.